You've heard about rising sea levels and changing weather patterns. Well, now there's another clue pointing to why that might be happening. Researchers from the UK and right here in America work together looking at ocean sea currents, which they believe are getting weaker. The news reporter Bill Zimmer breaks down what all of this might mean for you. It's the circulation system of our ocean, and a new study published Wednesday now shows that circulation appears to be slowing. We think the cause of the weakening uh, might be anthropogenic, meaning human-caused, uh, due to greenhouse gas emissions. One of the main arteries is the famed Gulf Stream running around Florida past the Gulf of Mexico and up the East Coast. It's one of the ways Earth self-regulates its ocean's temperatures. So the Gulf Stream is essentially weakening in its heat transport. And what we find in the model is that the Gulf Stream is moving further to the northwest, so closer to the northeast American coastline. That means water that's supposed to end up in the far north Atlantic, where it cools and sinks before flowing back to the south, is instead lingering off the northeast coast. Over the last 10 years, ocean temperatures in the Gulf of Maine have warmed faster than 99% of the global ocean, which is alarming. Researchers say that could have a huge impact on the supply of seafood. Fish, sea scallops, and American lobster from the affected area account for a third of the U.S. seafood industry. There could also be impacts on the weather, with a study from last year showing changing hurricane patterns. The sea level on the U.S. eastern seaboard, so we're talking uh, from Florida all the way up through Maine, is higher than average. So if this continues, we might expect continued enhanced sea level rise along the U.S. Eastern seaboard, which obviously has consequences for folks that live there. This week's published findings focused on impacts in the Northeast, which will likely lead to similar studies along the Florida coastline to determine if something similar could be happening in the Gulf. Yeah, so, so Bobby, uh, some re real interesting stuff yeah. there. Uh, the good news, I guess, for us is they haven't noticed those dramatic increases in water temperature in the Gulf of Mexico, but they admit they st there's still a lot they don't know. They're still watching because it's slower yeah. uh, when you get a little further north in the right. Gulf Stream. But for us, I mean, what you're looking at right here is a map that shows you sea surface temperature anomalies, which means is it warmer than normal, is it colder than normal? And you could clearly pick that out, but... If it gets warmer than normal, our weather here is so dependent on the water temperature. In the spring, the water's still cold. You're cool at the beach, but warm inland. And opposite in the fall, if those numbers are all coming up, you're just overall warmer. Just a slight change in temperature here can make a difference. Plus, think about hurricanes. I mean, we talk about well, those hurricanes, they need 80 plus degree weather, water underneath of them. When they're coming for us, we want a cool pool of water right there to weaken them just before they make landfall. If that's warm, and not only warm, but warmer than normal, that's more yeah. fuel for the fire. Yep. We'll have so, to wait for some more studies down here. Yeah, okay. yep. it's, it's, a, it's a really interesting point there. And keep in mind what they said in that package, it vents all of the heat from the Caribbean. It, it's nature's way of taking that heat and just putting it up into the North Atlantic. And that's just not happening as much. And you can see, uh, this is the Bay of Maine right here, right off of Maine. And look how much warmer that water is right there. And that's the current map from what's happening right now.